Hey guys, um, as you know, I just got back from uh, the number three thing about a week ago now, and uh, just wanted to show you the work that I've done on my number three. I took a hell of a lot of detail pictures, and um, they really helped me out here. Um, but I've been doing more than working on the details lately. I've been working on how it runs, because it was the week before I left, I went through three or four rebuilds on it, and I had to just completely reposition the motor and everything. It ran like shit. So, uh, let me show you how it runs today. It runs better. But you guys didn't see it when it was running like crap. There we go. Should run so nicely now. So I'm going to show you a couple details that I added under the three today. I'm really happy with the one of them that I did. I got the frames in. The frames are styrene with uh, plastic, see-through plastic, cut onto the back of them. And then I got one other little surprise that I'll show you in a minute. Oh, see the window moving? Check that out. Uh, the window closes just like on the real one. Also, you guys see that little toolbox back there? Right behind the oil tank? I just made that the other day. I have some just this, this little piece of balsa wood that I had. I cut it into shape and I cut some straight line around the whole thing to make it look like it would open and close. And then it's got a couple little hatches on there. You see those little stubs on the ends? I graphited the smoke box. I like to call it graphite, but you guys wouldn't know what I'm talking about if I called it like that, I guess. See these little pieces right in the back of the main rod uh, crosshead? Yeah, I put that there. It's like a guard that keeps the main rod from flying all over the place, I guess. I made that out of some just like little strip pieces of brass and then yeah I just put that on there and it worked. Came out good. I also, since the glad hand is no longer on there and I don't use glad hands on my cars anymore, I moved the coupler back a tiny tiny bit. Also, you see that little piece right there? Right in the center of the camera. That's like a, on the real one, it's like a little, uh, just a little pipe that can drain water, get all the water out of the tender, or hook up a hose to it, and then you can fight some weed fires, or even just wash your hands. Uh, I put that little piece on there uh, a couple days ago, and it looks really neat. The more details there are, the more happy I am. Okay, so, yeah. Now, do you guys see the engineer right there? Well, the fireman is not in his position. This guy should be yelling at him to get back in his seat so I can start moving again. Anyway, he's waving at you guys. Say hi. Not much else that I've done to the engine. Just cleaned out other spots where globs of paint were. I filed everything down so it's nice and thin, no globs of paint, you know. I repainted everything. Also got some pipes to the air compressor on this side all done. They go to the appropriate place. One of the pipes connected to the compressor goes to the air hoses, and the other one goes to the air tank, right? in front of the lead drive wheel. Just above the cross heading there. So this is my layout during the day for once. I usually shoot at night. One of my blackjack hoppers right behind the, the water tank there. The tank car serves as my water tank. 
It's an old model power uh, baggage coach, about 48 feet, old time. Um, Hales and Simmons Spur track. The building is not yet constructed. Sierra LA 322, one of my favorite box cars. Um, I'm working on this. This is supposed to be an outside race car. Uh, Sierra Railway 503, 324, and combine, combine caboose number 9. Over here we have oops, Coach 6 and Coach 3. Both need to be repainted because one I filed all the wood down so it's nice and even. Uh, I need to repaint it. Uh, besides that, it needs to be Pullman colored, which is like a dark olive green. And I'm, as far as I know, that one needs to be that color too. It's pretty much the color of this car. Just a little darker and more green, you know. And uh, just let you know, the number three is the only operating locomotive on the layout. Engines two and twenty-two there in the corner. Um, I was working on them. This one needs new crossheads. Um, I'm working on that. I need some pieces of metal to finish the guides for it first. And then twenty-two. I think I'm going to have to replace the entire locomotive frame. Just keep the boiler and everything like that. But it, does, it it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna keep the motor and replace the frame and drivers. Yeah, I just want it to run good. Okay, that's about it. See you later.